Okay, y'all. Mercury retrograde is retrograding. I come out of where I'm residing and my ex pops up. This is the same person that got my son took out of my custody. <clears throat> Whoever he worked with. I don't, I really do not know what the fuck is wrong with people. I really don't. And you'd be too exhausted to address what you have been addressing for 20 or 30 years. I'm black as fuck, okay? And sometimes you want to say, unfortunately, and it don't have absolutely nothing to do with self-hatred, but all to do with motherfuckers impeding on your progress because they want to use the collective of a race when it's convenient for them. But when you by yourself, listen, whoever send a boat. And if you drown, then you're going to take it. And you're a fool if you don't. I calm down because I was just like, that's so crazy how you can be incongruent, unaligned with people, but they keep trying to stay on your timeline. They keep trying to be in your story. They keep trying. I wouldn't give a fuck who have babies by who. I wouldn't give a fuck about who's related to who. I wouldn't give a fuck about how long I've known you, how we grew up together we ate together. We did this together. Yeah, and you backstabbed me. And you kept doing it. And psychologically, you think that shit is okay. And you think time heals all wounds. And you could just come back and pop up in a motherfucker life and say, Is you cool? We're not cool. I'm cool, though. But it's like spirit shut my mouth. Like my mother just clamped down put me in a trance and I was just staring at him. And the crazy piece is I do not know him and he do not know me. Whether we were married, whether we had a child or not, I do not know him. People married to people right now that they have no clue of who they are. People have children with people that they was raped by. They never seen them after the rape. You got people that consented one night stands and decided never to say nothing to the man. And he don't even know a baby exists. I mean, you got several scenarios where people go to fuck head on because they realize this ain't my story. They like that ties, that bind shit. The more you undo it, the more you cut the cords on it. At what point is this shit illegal? Because he could rape me. I don't know him. And he'll say, oh, oh, she tripping. Oh, she's crazy. I'm crazy. You asking, am I cool? So if I say I'm not, who the fuck is you going to call to come pick me up and throw me in a mental ward so you can keep trying to get my son? for monies and whatever other plan and plot your motherfucking ass had and have. Something wrong. And it shows how much they've turned the justice system into a joke. Innocent people shouldn't be mad at the law. Innocent people that are black should be angry with those that play with the law and keep playing with the law and keep playing with the law. And you ain't never played with it, but you got to reap the ramifications of people that escape. Like you literally be eating up somebody else's karma just because you're black. When I'm going through dark nights of the soul, honey, let me tell you something. This skin suit don't mean a goddamn. I don't even know till I look in the mirror. Because I'm dealing with shit on a soul level. 
I'm not the type of person that's an in and outer type of person. When you're raised in a certain environment and you're forced to be around certain people because they live there too, kind of like the stork just dropped you off in this motherfucking city. What the fuck else you gonna do? You gotta learn how to walk. You gotta learn how to talk. You gotta learn how to feed yourself. You gotta learn how to drive. You gotta learn how to manage money. You gotta learn all this shit in the midst of being around people that you didn't have a choice in the matter. To a degree, you may have, because you get to choose, but things ain't always what they seem, clearly. It may have appeared that some of you were in and out. You were the type that, you know, you could hear so-and-so said such and such about so-and-so, and the next thing you know, you see them on Facebook out to eat together. Now, this type of shit was happening. I was born in the 70s. This type of shit was happening when I was coming up. Motherfucker talk about each other, especially being in the hair industry, talk about each other all day long. Next week, they friends. Did they really have a choice in is the location that they were in, and they were trying to get the fuck to where they needed to be? If, if, if they could get there, you know. So some of these mindsets are still stuck. They stuck. You got to do the work. And you can't keep lying on people and making up all these motherfucking stories and squandering people's money and squandering people's time and uh, loving the passing on of generational curses and shit. I heard so you heard, boy. Kind of shit. That shit is dead as fuck. If people mistreat you, misuse you, talk about you, shit on you, laugh at your pain, cause you pain and laugh at that, then come back and say, is you all right? You want to go get something to eat? You doing yourself a disservice. That shit ain't normal. I'm not looking at him like, oh, my baby daddy looking out for me. No, I look at him as a potential rapist. Because he don't like me. And I do not like him. And he know it. So why would you come around here saying, is I'm cool? Like you going to take care of me or something. And you don't even pay child support. And you ain't took care of me a day of my motherfucking life. Truth be told. Ain't nobody going to fuck me like me. So just hold on to your seatbelts. You fuck around and have an ex that betrayed the fuck out of you, stabbed you up, stabbed your child up, passed on the generational curse, told you, bitch, eat shit and die, get it how you live, I hope you die. You fuck around and come around and say, love is unconditional. You cool? How you doing? Like, What? Are you out of your fucking mind? You are. So why don't you just keep it pushing? Proof. F you back to sleep, you know? I don't know what's up with these weird ass babies daddies that think a baby's mama's vagina is a fucking 7-Eleven 24-7 thing. No, motherfucker, this motherfucker been closed, bitch. Demolished. It ain't even there no more. The sense of entitlement is kind of crazy. So a baby gets you all this slew of trash. Do you really think women would have babies by these archetypes? If they knew better. If I knew better, I would have told my son, I'm going to catch you on the next one. Kind of shit. And the justice system has the audacity to be trying to put us back together. For family sake, y'all need to work on it as a family and co-parent. Listen, 
All your little classes and all this little shit they come up with. This shit ain't no one size fit all. You trying to merge two healing individuals with a fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre motherfucker. And you keep on. And I'm crazy. I don't fucking think so. Y'all got some Queen of Wands energy just, just doing too much. And y'all about to be seeing the proof of the work that they've been motherfucking doing. Because they've been working that bullshit. And when that shit come out, that shit come out weird than a motherfucker. So y'all can already know that they coming. You see they coming. Because they coming. Return of the axis. Mercury retrograde. December 2023 edition. Like I said, heavy dark witchcraft, seven days a week. You cool? You trying to see if your magic is working on me. Along with some other shit. What the fuck is a restraining order going to do? The paper can't up pipe on nobody. Why I do what I do? Why I practice occult sciences? Why do I practice voodoo? Why do I practice? Because I don't carry no weapons. Me ain't be got no weapons. It's your energy thing. I wouldn't get no rest. But some of y'all wouldn't either. If you didn't cover down and protect your motherfucking self from some of these motherfuckers. They keep coming back and don't know how to get the fuck on. Possible spell work. Wants to change but can't. That's a crock of shit too. Here's, hence is why she's... Because some of y'all knew these motherfuckers a long time and got the proof that they've been crazy before a motherfucker he was talking about a motherfucker. No, that's some other shit, too. Even if a motherfucker did have you under some shit, that's some other shit, too, from how you was acting, motherfucker. We was growing up, we ain't heard nothing about that, even if they was doing it. That shit you was doing, motherfucker, and you still doing it, and you still... Because you was in it. Ain't no honor amongst no shit like that. That's why I don't understand, but that's the type of that's the type of creed they live by. Unconditional. I could do anything to you and come back and we still work together, lay together, sleep together, eat together. Like, what the fuck kind of shit is that? Sounds cursed. No thank you. Straight zombies. Checking traps. Be careful. Y'all do not know people that y'all thought y'all knew. If y'all don't fuck with them, don't talk to them. Ain't got your, ain't got their number in your phone. I don't give a fuck if you got a child with them. You do not know that motherfucker. Where's he been? What has he been doing? Who has he been sleeping with? What drugs has he been taking? What the fuck is going on? You don't know. Everybody is an individual. Your child ain't their father, and it, your, the father ain't the child. Your child ain't you, you ain't your child. Everybody is individual. Everybody comes with a individual DNA pattern. Everybody, different, like a snowflake. It's a scientific fact. Two of Swords. Some of y'all don't go out. Some of y'all don't, because of the drag, man. Y'all feel something ain't right. Everything feel like a fucking black and white movie. And these are two different decks, but damn, honey. They passing it on, ain't they? Change, but can't change. Who the fuck is that for? 
And some of these motherfuckers work in corporate. Work in the corporate world. Some of them could work for the justice system, honey. There's so many zombies every fucking where they lost a man. They think really bad as shit time heals all wounds. No the fuck you don't. Because if it's an unresolved issue, I don't give a fuck how long you wait. It's still unresolved until you resolve it. Until you face it. Until you deal with it. Until you transmute it. You just getting older like a motherfucker. But consciously, honey, baby, this is how some of y'all feel if that person is to pull up. I'm talking about estranged like a motherfucker. Ain't seen them, ain't heard from them. Done deal. God said, st God said, stay away from them. Why are they going to your timeline? I'm telling y'all, this is X, X is get ready. Yes, stay ready so you ain't get to get ready. It was a charger that I had in my car. All of a sudden, it's gone. I take a picture of it. Somebody throws it at the front porch. I take a picture of it, send it to my people like, look, this, my, this motherfucker. I just sent my people this shit yesterday, day before yesterday. Whoop, pop up today. What do you want? Why are you touching my property? Why are you coming around? A child does not give you free range of motion. I don't know what the fuck. And these motherfuckers be having multiple baby mamas. I don't know what nobody else do. But I'm going to tell you like this. What I don't do is play like that. In and out, in and out. And you got to watch motherfuckers that when you left them when you was younger, all of a sudden they pop back up. Now they're ready to be husband and wife that y'all should have did it and this and that and they want to have they want to do this and that you get to watch that kind of shit that's some kidnapping ass shit if it ain't all like that they know how to charm the motherfucking pants off your ass just like a motherfucking kidnapper put you straight in nostalgia next thing you know you on a fucking hayride If you ain't growing, honey, get to going, honey. For real. You ought to nurse y'all wounds, transmute it, ten of swords in fucking reverse, and ten of swords with y'all throwing up at the thought of this motherfucker even thinking they're going to put their hands on you, be cool with you, eat with you, laugh with you. No, no, something wrong with you, bruh. Y'all got proof of these motherfuckers doing all kind of shit to y'all for nothing. Y'all ain't did nothing to these motherfuckers. Absolutely nothing. But yet, here we go. Won't get lost. And some of them is even intimidated by you any fucking way from the jump street. Just always on some check and trap shit when shit dry up. Because they did too much. And they get to eat that motherfucking karma. Some of them motherfuckers get sick every goddamn day throwing up. Karma. Sometimes you ain't seeing shit till you see it. Hermit energy. Minding your business. Alone came a spider. Some of y'all in some weird situations and scenarios. It's because of these motherfuckers. It's gang stalking. It's weird old behavior. And they've been weird. They've been ignoring the work of self. They ain't took 10 years to just get a life over to a cause or a sacred religion or you know what I'm saying there be times in your life where religion builds you up 
build your moral compass. And then, you know, you feel sovereign enough that you don't have to. Some people, especially if you're a highly spiritual being, you're curious, you want to know. Gnosis, so to speak. Not these motherfuckers. They just go because so-and-so was taking them or because so-and-so knew what's going Edification zero. Why they there, they don't know. Now they just depend on magic. Trending, I guess. Or been doing this shit unbeknownst to you. You regular out here in these streets. Some of y'all maybe five five years on your path really on your path before that you were coming into the knowledge of yourself what you like what you don't like what you vibe with what you don't more than likely because you got up under your from up under your parents tutelage you start building your own life however old you are it doesn't matter normal you're not thinking, you're not the one sitting at home doing shit to people, swapping partners and shit. I want her, man. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to somehow fuck this up so that I can get them and trap them with a baby. She'll find somebody. Fuck her. Now let me light a candle to solidify. Clearly, motherfuckers was doing this kind of shit in the 80s, 90s, punk bitch frauds. Go to a fucking priest, confess. Why they want to come back to the people that they did the worst fucking shit to? I don't know. What the fuck can you do for them? You trying to get out of this fucking pickles they keep putting you in. Break up to make up. This is what I'm saying. Conditioned with this shit. No. Everybody ain't on this. Break up. Bye. If only for one night. Bye. You know making up. Ain't no keep on. You see no damn VHS movie tape where you put that bitch in and keep hitting rewind and pause and it's no. Uh uh. I seen this movie already. My mother said, Didn't you go around that mountain already? You absolutely right. I said, But look, it got a nice new waterfall. It's not got no, but you still went around it. You still went around that mountain already. I understand it got some new features. But you still went around that particular. You're right. You're right. Sex and money magic. I'm telling you, it's fucking chaos magic. They don't know. It's like having spiritual Tourette's. Just pop up anywhere, talking to anybody about anything. Don't even know. Don't even know. So just guard your grill. You know, especially if... Sex and money magic. Who do you think about to open up their legs? Because it's, 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 it's space and opportunity kind of shit. That's that 7-Eleven shit. Some of y'all got people y'all dated. You don't even got to have a baby with them. They just feel like you, you always going to be mine kind of shit. You got to be careful. Did somebody say dominoes? Yeah. This is what they perceive in their mind. Hot and ready, like a dominoes pizza. This is not the case. But that's how you get raped. Because you on that paradigm, sex, money, magic, crazy fiend. And I'm all about to go get me some, let's say, uh, toiletries. 
like a normal motherfucker on a Tuesday. The fuck? Running to and fro, seeking whom they may devour, seems to me. Don't even know. Like men, you know, they don't know. Whatever, whatever, trainees, it doesn't matter. Buffet style, Golden Corral, Ponderosa. Make an Asian want hibachi. Make Italian want Versace. I'm gonna see what that's about. Somebody don't wanna believe something. Somebody doesn't wanna believe that some people do certain shit. But they gonna start seeing this shit for what it is. It may be stranger things, it may be trippy as fuck, it may be whatever the fuck. Honey, let me tell you something. Hold on to your seats. Hold on to your hats. Okay. Because this shit, the undoing is crazy. A lot of people going to be finding out they were supposed to be together and somebody blocked it a long motherfucking time ago. Playing with magic. Round about when Ouija boards was in Toys R Us and shit. What year was that? They considered it a board game. That was awful. I don't know who did that fucking marketing. Are they still doing that shit? That's what KB Toy Store. You can get you a Ouija board at 20 bucks. Okay, if not less than that. People been in system shit y'all unaware of. People don't want to believe it, but um and some of y'all are seers, and y'all be telling somebody, this is what, this is, this is about to happen, why? Some, 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 be reading it down to the motherfucking letter like you get the book, like it's an open book test. They be like this when that shit come to fruition. Scared, don't know, like can't believe it. Who just taking back? Sometimes, you know? And then other times, shit be so trippy. When you hear other people's stories and you didn't came through some shit too, you realize you don't underestimate nobody. Truth is always stranger than fiction. You ain't got no reason to lie. Check in with yourself to make sure that you still, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you could be one motherfucker in a whole goddamn neighborhood of nuts. It be the grace and mercy of God that is some regular people sprinkled throughout your experience. You know what I'm saying? This shit been a I Am Legend movie, unbeknownst to some people. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Some people be feeling like that. Because they be the only one that got sis. Getting the fuck out of there. You hear me? You should not have to deal with no abuse just because of relation. No, man. What kind of shit is that? Take them. Take them. I get it, but come on. If somebody don't want to go, listen. If somebody telling you this is happening, listen. The fuck is it 2023 and motherfuckers still running from motherfuckers? This ain't no goddamn slave ship. When it's real, they gotta be in hiding. Like, what kind of shit is that? <sighs> Younger generation is, honey, let me tell you something. Turn up. That's all the fuck I can say. Turn up, meaning get yourself free from anything that's hindering your motherfucking evolution. 
You got to do what you got to do. I done ate plenty Thanksgivings alone. I done set plenty Christmases alone. I'm a Muslim, yeah, but I love Thanksgiving. I'm really not into Christmas. Me and my son love Halloween. They take my son. Anything that brings you joy, anything that you really love, they fucking come fucking with it. That's not motherfucking normal. And it goes against the Constitution in America. Pursuit of happiness, bitch. It's my birthright. Fuck you blocking it for. Move. You did what you did with your pursuit. And you spent most of the time seemingly pursuing me or other people being a fucking sociopath. Now, narcissist. Now, energy harvester. Now, karmic. Now, what the fuck? How many motherfucking languages do you got to say leave me alone in? Yeah, man, this kind of shit, this kind of energy. You supposed to keep on? I don't know how many children stuck in some shit or was stuck in some man, that shit traumatizing as fucking they do not be hearing you. Whether a motherfucker say they want to get the fuck away, they want to get the fuck away from their foster people. This is all bullshit. Or whether they say I want to stay because that person, that lady, that's, yeah, she had me or wherever I end up with this lady. She's abusive, and I don't want to be with her. Same goes with a father. Truth is truth. I think it's too many fucking movies or some shit. Or too much retail therapy or something. Everything is like pants and a shirt. They go together. No, the fuck it don't. Just they look alike, that don't mean they go together. Temperance is required. Some of these motherfuckers, man. Of course. Suffer in silence, you know. All about the money. What the fuck it say? Trying to figure out how to get to someone else's hard-earned money. They don't respect God. They don't think God is real. They just think money is real, and that's it. Got to you. Got to think about rape and robbery. Well, motherfuckers, they just come popping up, as strange as fuck. Ain't heard from them. Ain't seen them in yeah. You cool? I'm telling y'all, taking groceries out the car. You cool? You turn around. X. Why is it that you know everywhere I live at, but I don't talk to you? Why do you want to make it like you're looking out for me, but you don't pay child support? You casing me? You kangaroo pocket watching, huh? I'm telling you. But these the same motherfuckers that make sure you don't get no money. These are the same motherfuckers this reason I ain't get no money off YouTube. These are the same motherfuckers I ain't get my motherfucking life insurance money from my mother when she left me. They took it. These are the same motherfuckers that got my son took. I ain't filed taxes. I'm adamant about filing taxes. I don't have earned income, nothing. Ain't nothing coming in, so what the fuck will I file? That's fucking with my LLC. That's fucking with my business. That's fucking with my money. These is motherfuckers like this, but will come around and say, is you cool just to see if it's an angle that they can get in to get more of your shit? You ain't getting shit. They got it. You got it, bitch. Snakes. 
So don't be so light on Mercury retrograde. You don't want no other test. You don't want it. It's going to be cool. It ain't going to be. I ain't going to keep on with that Mercury retrograde. going to be that one motherfucking retrograde. Where a motherfucker saying you cool with a pistol to your motherfucking head. Back in. Do not pull in to your driveway. Decide it. Been decided they don't fuck with you. And blocking y'all from this. I'm telling you, this somebody that cannot believe that this shit is happening. Did these motherfuckers just really own this kind of shit? Did these motherfuckers been slime balls? Did these motherfuckers been full of bitch assness? Punk bitch ass fraud motherfucking man. And anybody that's in the public that don't even know what the public is saying because you don't be in the public. That's the one they lying on. The one that's on the underground level checking traps saying, man, I feel like so-and-so, I don't know, it's energy hip hop, you know what I'm saying? They're doing something funny to me, I don't really know. Da, da, da. You telling tools and fields of motherfuckers that know the truth, but some of them don't hear you and don't want to accept it. What the fuck is you saying? So now you got some people just coming out as tarot readers because, shit, hell, you going to get attacked just because of your walk. Your purpose in life. Psychic attack is a fucking thing like goddamn schizophrenia or a heart attack kind of shit. You see the truth, you speak the truth, you get attacked. So you got to come out on YouTube. Motherfuckers go in and out. I'm wrestling. I want to show my face. Fuck that. I'm sick of hiding. I don't want to run no more. Next thing you know, blackout screen. Ain't shit up. You hear a voice. All right, fuck it. Let me show my hands. So people will know I'm real. Some old schools ain't never getting involved. Hands only, like a motherfucking Palm Olive commercial. Because they been getting attacked by people. They have late like. Y'all been supposed to be doing this. They hold y'all money up. They on some dirty shit. Whoever these old motherfuckers is from back in the day ass motherfuckers. When things was cool, but they ain't no more. Why? Because you a betrayer. You a serpent. You a reptilian. King of Cups. You a shapeshifter. You move funny. Another King of Cups energy. A real one and a fake one or a black one and a white. Y'all know Joe Biden think he black though for real. I swear for your president you got America. His black self talking to his white self. He know black people. How can you not? How can you not? Come on, man. You see some medicine? Make it you tripping? Watch how you tripping? Look how you dipping? Truth hurts, exactly. Y'all would be considered the big old thing with the knives in it. Still telling the truth. Because you ain't got no choice. When God on you, you ain't got no choice. Oh, well, I guess I'm going on telling the truth, bitch. Because ain't nothing else to tell. What the fuck I'm going to do? Keep lying like your motherfucking ass and end up in a seven of cups full of illusions? I don't fucking think so. I think I'm going to stay with this riff, buddy. Yeah, Spirit saying this is the Six of Swords in reverse. If y'all somewhere and they found out where y'all live at, don't move. Do not move. Uh uh. Like I said, y'all more the big thing with the ten nines in y'all fucking bag. They the ones should be running. There ain't no hostile motherfucking takeover and you fucking wrong as two left goddamn shoes, motherfucker. I know you lying. Evil ain't about to keep on just prevailing. Fuck.
four of wands. To your ancestors are saying stay put. Don't do they will. They wish you would. Honey, they can't reiterate it no more than that. Stay put. Do you not see what the fuck is going on? Do you not see heaven working on your behalf? Do you not see that you're still alive because you should be dead the amount of fucking plots they done had to kill your motherfucker? Like, hit you in the head, rob you, take your money. They already done took some of y'all, man. For real. And decided that they want to take some more shit because they've been on the Seven of Swords side on some snake shit. Shape shifty than a motherfucker. Demi urges. Gotta have it. He's gotta have it. She's gotta have it. Honey, baby, bye. I heard that Mary J. Blige song. I'm tired of all this drama. She said, waking me up in the morning with your disturbing phone calls. She ain't talking about no motherfucking bill collectors. Who's she talking about? Motherfucker that bring that bullshit. <laughs> you can't even get out of bed. You can't even get in your car. You're like, come on, man. You disturbing my peace. You already know what it is. You already know how you play with your hand. You know you picked the side of Satan. You know what the fuck you did summer after summer after summer. You know you squander money. I fucked with you the long way. When I looked out for you, you shitted on me. You know that. Quit playing the fuck out of crazy. You're disturbing. And then when you're a person that don't really say shit because you understand the environment you come up in, you're not going to exert too much energy if this is where you at. Only a fool. Not burning out somewhere that I'm not going to end up. If God give me a vision about my life or show me my purpose or whatever I got going on, that's my business. I'm not going to exert all my energy in one spot. I'm going to shut the fuck up and learn. And see who the fuck to stay away from when I get to where the fuck I'm going to. And they say, all closed eyes ain't sleep. And all closed mouths ain't mutes and fucking dummies. You got two ears and one mouth for a motherfucking razor. And when you get to the top of the motherfucking stairs that you've been climbing, trying to get the fuck up out of wherever the fuck you feel like you're stuck and stagnant at and the people that you're around, you're going to be exhausted in the motherfucker. Ain't going to be nothing left to do. That's what I don't think people in uh, Hollywood understand. And not saying nobody going to no motherfucking Hollywood, but you going some motherfucking where. They say, oh, they get them advances. They pay for everything for them. They don't got, they just... But motherfucker, shit, figure it out for me, motherfucker, is when motherfuckers ain't doing right back you and taking money and doing all this bullshit, but you be so exhausted from climbing the motherfucking stairs to greatness. Yeah, by the time you get this shit, I don't give a fuck if I ain't bad and shit. Oh, thanks for the code, bitch. Oh, law represent DK and one show wheel. Oh, that's a nice Chanel bag. Let me get that. You be so motherfucking exhausted. Go to a store to shop. You know, yeah, give me a couple dollars. Let me run in here. Damn it, yeah. They make it like it's a bad thing. When I really feel like it's set up because you exhausted when you get there. They still got to push through and force through. Lies, slander, gossip, all this old stupid shit. Some of y'all thought y'all was on page 130 in y'all book. Motherfucker, keep on blowing that bitch back to the goddamn third page. You know I me, mean? motherfuckers, y'all knew in the third grade. 
Like, you know what? Stop. Arrested development. I feel like it's stuck. But you better be aware. Someone is in need of your love. Offer it to them. You see what I'm saying? Need. Sex magic. Make you jump on top of somebody. But it ain't love, bitch. Some of them really think y'all always be there, honey. Thick sin, no matter what they do to you, they can drag you through a motherfucking parking lot by your braids. Beat you. Tell your child you ain't shit. Talk to you crazy. But baby, need. Now offer it to me. Be careful. That's all I'm saying. Don't underestimate no motherfucking money. It ain't right and ain't been right and show you that they ain't motherfucking right. Because ain't nobody coming for you. Especially if you single and you a woman. Stay present. That's where life happens. Yeah, and stay where the fuck you at like your ancestor said. Then we we'll be dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. Everything ain't a gun, you know? Guilt is a normal feeling. Just breathe in and let it go. After they do what they do to you, then they feel guilty. But what the fuck can that help you with after it's done? You got to pick up the pieces. <laughs> you got to scrape your motherfucking self up off. They had this little girl going down a slide. She, Some of y'all like this. With, with these motherfuckers, offer it to me, your love. Well, nobody fuck with me, you will. I done did all kind of shit to you. You keep talking to me. Kind of shit. The little girl, she was about three, two or three. She helped push her father down or whoever the big guy was that was with her. And then she took her two hands and sat on the slide and pushed her own back. She's she pushed her own back down the slide. Do you see that? That's some of y'all. Doing too much. When you find something that excites you, go on in and enjoy the ride. See what I'm saying? Real raunchy, trifling, terrible. Watch your ass. Your ancestors is on it. But be aware. Watch as well, so is pray. Faith without works is dead. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wilds of Satan. What has your inner voice been asking of you? Listen and act. <laughs> what is the inner voice has been asking? Listen and act. You see this? That's on some negative shit. I'm just going to keep it 100 with y'all. If a motherfucker ain't thinking right, they can't act right. Inner voice is something telling them to go do something to you. This is spiritual warfare. Everything ain't about a gun. A gun can jam. What my eyes have seen. Stop looking outside yourself for the answers. You already know them. Yeah. Somebody keeps blaming themselves for something. They can't believe somebody. Y'all telling somebody something that is highly spiritual. It reminded me when Jay-Z said, oh, my wife's this spiritual shit really works. Not that it really works, but damn, this shit is really happening. Everything that you're saying, shit like, what the fuck are you doing? Some type of magic or something? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. You don't want to believe the truth that is stranger than fiction. You don't want to believe that somebody had been doing something to you that's kind of unorthodox, not normal. You know? Normal people live life on an everyday basis. From the time you're born to the time that you move out of your parents' houses, just go to school. You in a, you in a, you know, a routine, monotony, repetition. Train up a child, okay? All that extra shit, 
I do not know, but it affected people, and it's affecting people right now. The shit is coming out in a wash. Chickens coming home to roost. You was had bamboozled, took all that shit. Live your life with both feet in. Commit fully to being here. Yeah, some of y'all can't understand why you always in and out of Because motherfuckers, man. They be knowing where you at. They be keeping track of you even if you think they gone. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, they know where you be at. These motherfuckers is nuts, bruh. Attachment issues. Inner voices. And you feeling guilty about what? Running for your life, trying to maintain your equilibrium, trying to stay balanced, trying to stay at peace, don't want to pop off, don't like yourself angry kind of shit, trying to be disciplined with your emotional centers, all that shit. Now you got to live with life with both feet in. Ain't no moving. Uh-uh. Commit fully to being where you at. Because if a motherfucker going to do something, motherfucker, let's see with it. Because this shit, it's been the shit y'all dragged on for years, decades, some of y'all. 10 years is too long. A year too long to me. Especially when I see where this shit is going. If I say goodbye and I'll leave a dirty motherfucker, ain't nothing else to talk about, bitch. What you mean keep finding out where I live at? The fuck? You have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. Because people attack y'all. Y'all lay low, man. I'm trying to tell you. I get it. People be saying connect with nature more. Connect with nature more. And that's something y'all ancestors want y'all to do. That's something that you have to master. Commit to fully being where you're at. Live with both feet in. You ain't got to be, you know, be aware. But don't limit how you move about the country or move about wherever you need to go. Just be aware. I didn't even want to come out at all. I was going to go out yesterday. Put it off. Went out today. Boom. I'm like, this shit. Just keep playing in your motherfucking face. What is your motherfucking issue? What is the past life problem, motherfucker? A little bit of faith goes a long way. Remember that. And then they want to work on your heartstrings by saying, you know, especially if you got children with them or it's a family thing or whatever, anything can be overcome. No, the fuck it cannot. Motherfucker been single. We should overcome for a long motherfucking time and ain't nobody overcame nothing on a collective level. Okay? Okay? Individually, we've overcome some things. In our personal lives, collectively, even as a human race. Come on. Because clearly there's war and rumors of that motherfucker. Going zones. Give your inner critic a vacation day. Be kind to yourself. Exactly. Somebody is guilt tripping themselves. But they don't have nothing to do with it. Some of this shit is spell work. Some of these motherfuckers, man, they be doing some weird ass shit. I'm trying to tell you. When certain shit go unchecked, sometimes you think laying off a person that you may think, a parent may think something is wrong with that person so they don't go as hard on that child. Sometimes that's a child that they should go that hard on because they end up being a menace to motherfucking society. Shit is ridiculous, bro. And these are grown motherfuckers, but they got arrested in their development. Too busy. Pleasure principle and looking at what other people were doing and thinking they can outsmart God and end up playing themselves and you know just doing too much for real. When you worried about another motherfucking life more than you worried about your own, that's not love. Something wrong with you. And that's it on that. And if somebody say they done. What the fuck is the problem? I don't care if it's children involved. You gotta get out of this fucking program and it's weird as fuck. 
If you're related to them, go with them. I don't care if he's a molester. That's your father. What? That's when you start having them conversations with God. And God start testing you. Because nothing should separate you from the love of God. Nothing. Or nobody. Y'all just prepare yourself for some return of the max. Because they wrapped up and tied up in something. And it's sexually based. And sex is a dead end. When you don't have any discipline, that shit can take you lower than goddamn crack cocaine. This is facts. If y'all feeling a vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light.